What is up guys? Here is some bonus content to the itinerary that I posted on social media. And that is the question of free weights versus machines. Um, because this will be a topic that I, I think we've moved on from a little bit, but I am probably a little disconnected still with where things are at on YouTube. Because I live in like a, a bubble on like our, our member site and I'm, I'm probably not too up to date with maybe the, the YouTube perspective on things. So I wanted to do a video on what I think the difference between free weights and machines are and whether I believe one to be inherently more beneficial for building muscle than the other. Now, your typical meathead approach is the idea that a free weight is going to be better than the machine. And I disagree. And it's not that I actually think the opposite. I don't believe a machine is inherently better than a free weight. I actually believe neither to have any advantage over the other. In that an incline press, an incline barbell press, for the large majority will yield the same hypertrophy benefits as an incline press machine that doesn't converge. If you're comparing a barbell to a converging chest press machine, I would then say the converging chest press machine will bring about better hypertrophy results. But then if we compare a dumbbell to a converging machine, so then they both converge, I would say that neither is better. Again, there is no must need to use a barbell. Just like there is no must need to use machines. So we can kind of advance on from this to are there must need exercises in general? And there are a few exercises that, that we will have emotional attachments to because they're perceived to be the big exercises and, that, and those are obviously things like squat, deadlift and bench press. Do you need to squat to build big legs? Absolutely not. However, if the squat is an exercise that mechanically suits you, could it be the best exercise for you or for that individual? Absolutely yes. There are examples in both camps. James Holly said, the squat is a phenomenal exercise for him. It really works in that he can support the loading. The way that his hips and knees move mean that he gets a phenomenal amount of quad bias. It's a risk-free, low injury risk exercise for him. Amazing exercise choice. On the flip side, for me, when I was at my peak strength levels and whatnot, my mechanics of the squat only really biased my adductors and my lower back. The injury risk for me was high when I got extremely strong on it. When I got up to squatting seven plates, I picked up small quad tears every single time without failure. It wasn't a movement that stimulated more muscle than a leg press or a hack squat for me. So immediately we now can clearly see that the squat is not a must do exercise. And it entirely comes down to the individual. And this is then a consistent viewpoint for free weights versus machines across the board. If I was to make an absolutely perfect machine that its handles were in the right place, it was extremely safe, it converged in the right manner, and it had an adjustable resistance profile, would I then pick that movement over a free weight machine, that, or sorry, over a barbell that entirely locked me into one grip, one plane of motion, one resistance profile? Yes, I'd pick that machine all day long. I can see way more benefits 
in that machine when it comes to hypertrophy. Does that mean I would entirely disregard the barbell? No, it doesn't. But my focus would be largely on that machine because I know that the internal stimulus I can create as a result from increasing my, my load with the external stimulus is going to be consistent. And that's not always the case with, with, uh, with utilizing free weights. So I just wanted this to be a quick video that kind of just touched on the idea that no exercise is a must. So the question as well is, what one exercise, I get this a lot on my stories, like what one exercise would I, I pick for my back? Why do I only need to pick one? Like, why are you asking me, like, that's the only exercise I can do for the rest of time? That, that question makes no sense to me. Why are you asking that question? Are, are you on a desert island where you only have a barbell? And even still, with a barbell, I, I could still just take a single arm grip on it. I don't have to do a barbell press. I could lay, I could lay the barbell down and just use it single armed. Like, you, 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 you need to be careful with these questions in the sense that they're gonna narrow your mind into thinking in ways that don't actually make sense. So, there is no best training split. There are no must-do exercises. There are no must-do rep ranges. Everything is entirely person-dependent. If the squat is a movement that suits you, fuck yeah, crack on a squat. If it doesn't, do not waste your time on the squat. You are wasting time and effort that can be better spent progressing a lift that will yield better hypertrophy benefits. Now, obviously, if you want to be a great squatter, that is not the same goal as wanting incredible legs. Those are two totally independent goals. So then, you have to squat, and then the size of your legs is irrelevant. Powerlifters don't care how big their legs are, they care about how much they squat. It's not the same goal. Don't get them confused. And that applies for every single exercise. If you want to be a great bencher, bench. But that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna build a phenomenal chest. You may well build a phenomenal chest as a byproduct of becoming a great bencher. But equally, you might just build cracking triceps and great shoulders because you don't recruit your chest very well in the press. And we've seen that with tons of guys. We've seen guys hit the most muscular, crazy shoulders and arms. And they're fairly underdeveloped in the chest, of a, in the chest department. Evan Santapani will be a, a one that will jump straight out to me when I think about it. Um, and again, really, really strong barbell presser. Didn't equate to huge chest gains. So no must-do exercises, no must-do splits, no must-do rep ranges. A barbell inherently is not better than a machine and a machine is not inherently better than a barbell. However, we can make some damn epic machines that tick all of the boxes, that then if I was asked to make a choice, if that machine did exist, that's what I'd pick. And hopefully this video is a fairly clear explanation as to why that would be. Again, questions, please ask us. Thanks.